What is up everybody, welcome into this new video of TechPress. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to add a customer uh, review into your actual store. Later on, we chose, we created something like this. We created like a product, we created our actual stuff here, we created uh, an actual description with ChatGPT. So now it's time to add something else into our actual product so we can incentivize people to buy this product. So we wanted to add trust. We wanted to add trust into our store. And to do that, we needed to add the customer review inside here. So down, it is almost like um, when you wanted to look out for a product, at the very bottom of the pod, you see that there's an actual review process here. Customer review, we have a few stars and with images. So how can we do this? So the very first thing I wanted to do is to go into my actual Shopify on the dashboard. And here what I want to do is to look for an application that can be helping me to do that. So what I want to do is to go into apps and sales channel settings. Here I wanted to go into my Shopify app store. This one should be taking me into the actual app store of Shopify. So this is why I wanted to look out for judge.me. So if you can't find judge.me here, you can always go over here with this search app and I'm gonna go for judge. So this is an application that can be helping you to have product reviews with photos and videos for social medias. So this is why I wanted to go with the ad application. We need to grant the access of the judge.me into our store. So we're gonna hit into install app. And then later on, this one should be taking us right away into the judge.me application. So let's see how this actually works to add our customer product review. So the very first thing is to go into the installation of the widget into your store. So we're going to go here into skip for now or go into next actually so we can start the widget. So we can choose to see like this, the preview batch on the product page or the review widget in the product page. You can do whatever you wanted to. In my case, I'm going to add the three of them. I'm going to install the three of them here into my actual store. We're trying to install the widgets to your theme automatically so we don't have to do absolutely anything. So as you can see, we now have the preview. So we're going to go into, can you check the widgets on your store directly and let us know if everything looks good. So I'm going to click into this direct link and here's one product that we have just added. So as you can see, we have now the option that says no reviews. So I can scroll all the way down and now I have the customer reviews in here. So now it actually looks great, right? So we go now back, we're gonna go in, yes, it looks great. And this is the part when you wanted to get started with adding some product reviews. So, you, so if you have make some selling stuff into your actual uh, stuff, into your actual website, you can try to incentivize people to start by adding some product reviews or you can do this manually. How can we do this manually? So I'm gonna go into the, and scroll a little bit down, click my reviews, and I'm gonna just leave it like that. I'm gonna focus now into this cover all, and we have all the shell reviews and all of this translate widgets, create email templates, create code bones, integrations, boot CEO, and all of that. So if I go into manage reviews here into the left pod, here should be appearing the reviews that were actually created by people. You can add a review manually if you wanted to. Let's go and focus into add a review. And here it says product search, name, email, the rating, the review title, the review body, the review pictures, and the YouTube URL. So I'm gonna choose a product that I do have now used for. Let's go for a product research, which in my case is this one. The name I'm gonna go for Tom and the email is go for something like this and the rating let's go for five stars. Review title, absolutely great product. And here into review body, let's go for something like I do love that I have this sneakers with me absolutely um, awesome, right? Now it's gonna be asking us for a review picture. Since we don't have a review pictures and I am selling some products that have been listed by someone else. In my case, I am selling some sneakers of Nike Air number two. These are the actual Nike. So what I want to do is to actually try to look for people that actually took the pictures of this product. So if I go here, I go into my images here of the internet. Here I wanted to look out for a product, people who actually bought these actual sneakers. So I'm gonna click, let's say for example in here, 
and there we go so i'm gonna scroll a bit down look out for more suggestions so um i think this is something like we're actually looking for but not so precise so maybe i can try to look for that into someone into social medias or maybe into actual pinterest so here i'm gonna go now into my pinterest and I'm going to try to look out for this actual product so I can use it for an actual product review. So I'm going to go here into search. I paste my link here. And once you find that one into Pinterest, I can now go back here into my actual store. I'm going to go here into review pictures. I'm going to go and look out for this actual element. I upload it and go into submit. Now, reviews submitted successfully. So if I go into product reviews, now here it should be appearing my product. So how do I make sure that this one actually appears into published? I want to go back here into my actual store, look how for my products. In my case, let's focus into this one. And as you can see, we have the one that says one review. So I scroll a little bit down a little bit more. One customer review, five out of five. And here it says, Tom, absolutely great product. I do love that. I have the sneakers with me. Absolutely awesome. I'm going to click here into the actual link of the image. And there we go. It's actually not looking that bad. So what I can totally suggest to you is to ask people to add their actual reviews once you have made an actual purchase, when you make a sale, when people purchase your actual uh, stuff into your store. And then you can add us in here. So if I go here into my judge.me, I can manage my reviews. If I, let's say, receive like something really, really bad, and they're actually like importing like a lot of stuff, or let's say like my product is garbage and it's not working or whatever, I can verify that. And if I don't like that review, I can delete it. And then later on, I can choose which uh, review. I can publish into my actual store, into my actual product. But of course, you don't want to have like, uh, let's say all your reviews into just five stars because at the end of the day, people are going to, uh, it's going to be feeling like this is a perfect product. And, and take in mind that the perfect product does not exist. So you don't want people to have like a lot of, you don't want to tell people, you don't want to get the high expectations of people. So you want to tell like this is a great product, try to add, uh, one out of five product reviews, like one honest product reviews. So people can start to trust into your store and they can start to buy more into your actual store. And people are going to be more incentivized to buy because there's now real people uh, with doing some real reviews in real photos in real actual stuff here. So I think that we have now reached into the very end of the video, guys. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to see more amazing toes of the Shopify. I believe that Judge.me is a really, really great app. So uh, there you have it. Be creative. Have lots of fun. Thank you once again for watching the video, guys. And with that being said, I'll see you on the next video.